Welcome to Flash Basics Tutorial 29 Gravity. I have the CS5 program opened and we're going to start a new FLA and we'll keep the default. Want to start off by making a, a figure, a ball. So let's call this layer ball and let's just pick up the oval tool make the stage 50 percent and right somewhere around here with your shift held down make a ball we'll highlight that ball we just made go up to modify convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and call it ball b-a-l-l underscore mc and while we're here let's copy that open the properties panel up and we'll give it the instance name ball lock this balls layer insert a layer action script as click on that first frame open your actions panel if you haven't got the actions panel you can pick it up from the windows and to save time I'm going to just paste something in type type typing I'm typing we're going to make a variable called gravity so VAR should be purple gravity capital G R A V I T Y, a full colon, capital N U M. And as soon as you probably get to the N U M, this will, this will, a drop up menu will come up and you can just hit enter, but it's number equals two and a semicolon. That's our variable we're using. Here we have our on stage enter. So I have stage, period, add event listener, capital E, capital L. That will all turn blue if it's spelt right. Open bracket, which is black. Capital E V E N T event period. Now enter underscore frame. Those are all capital letters. Enter is all capitals. Frame is all capital letters. That's all blue. Comma, and I'm calling this function ent E N T frame. Capital E capital F. I then copied this and eventually stuck it in here function f u n c t i o n same color as the var there's our ent frame open bracket e i can probably stick something there colon capital e v e n t the same event here close bracket colon void v o i d turns the same color as function and i'm not sure if i remember to say about this close bracket certainly in a semicolon there we have an open curly bracket and I think assume you start typing this line in this last curly bracket comes up but either way you want to put this in and there's that ball movie clip capital B A L L underscore M C period Y we're talking about its Y axis that's its vertical axis plus equals that means increment by gravity G R A V I T Y capital G semicolon and we're going to increment it by two and I believe that's two pixels so each time it comes into this frame and we're at a frame rate of 24 frames per second it's going to move this two pixels and to see this in action I have a trace T-R-A-C-E that turns blue open bracket copy this paste it in close bracket semicolon and of course this last curly bracket so this is very basic this is just a straight fallen at a rate of two pixels every time it enters a frame so let's just test this movie and we'll see it fall there it goes and it just goes on and on forever so let's stop that and just look at our trace 12 14 16 18 20 it just fell down down at uh, always two 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 okay let's go back here for a minute I just want to look at this ball movie clip in the properties panel and the reason it started at 12 is because we actually started the ball 
at 10. So the first time I added 2, that's why we had 12. So that's one way of making this, this gravity very simple. But we really know that gravity, as something falls, it increases, it increases, it increases close to 10 meters every second squared or something like that, but it increases, increases, increases. And that's what we're going to try to do with this second gravity. We're going to make another variable. So open your actions panel. And under this one, a new variable, VAR space. And I believe this one is velocity. So I'm going to call it VEL capital Y, the velocity of my Y colon and we'll see n u and there's that drop down menu I was talking about enter and that's going to be equal to zero and a colon so now instead of having this line let's cut this for a minute cut it all that thing about the ball click enter a new line paste it Paste that ball. And here, copy this velocity y. Paste it here. So it's velocity y that's going to equal gravity. And let's put this here. Plus equals. And this is that going to be that velocity y. V-E-L capital Y. Colon. And again, we're tracing it. So now, how does this work? Every time we enter the frame, first of all, this variable velocity y is going to be equal to zero, but it's going to be incremented by two pixels. So it's going to VLY will become two. So then when the ball movie clip y, wherever it is, will inc increment by two. But the second time through, this velocity y will be two greater. It'll be four. In being four, now this will move four pixels. So let's go over here to, let's go back to scene one. Let's look at this ball for a minute and let's make sure we see where it is on its Y again. I think it was 10. Okay. And let's test this movie. And you can see, whoa, it started slow, went real fast. Two is pretty fast. But let's just have a quick look and then we'll rectify it. It started at 10, so it went 12. So that's an increase of 2. Then it increased by 4. Then it increased by 6. Then 8. Then 10. Then 12. So you can see it's going faster and faster and faster. And quickly went off the stage. So let's go back here with this one and let's make this point. Let's make it point 0.5. You can see what that, that'll slow it down. Control test movie. There, that's better. And let's look at that. Start of that 10, we know that. 0.5, so it increased by 0.5, then it increased by 1, then 1.5, then by 2, then by 2.5, then by 3, then by 3.5. And here, very simple, you can see it increased by 4. So that's a much better gravity. Let's just make it once more a little bit slower. Let's make it 0 0.2, just so we can see that. And it's getting faster and faster and faster. Now, if we didn't do anything let that go, eventually our computer would just get really, really, really slow. Let's just see this. Test movie. I'm going to let it run and run and run and run. Right now, I can move this around real fast. And as I go and go and go and generate numbers, this becomes more sluggish. And generate more numbers and generate more numbers. This begins with my machine, not all machines. But see how sluggish this is? La, very sluggish. And I'll get to a point where it probably won't even move. La. So if you're testing, don't leave it run a wrong, long time. And you have something on the stage that's supposed to be moving, it'll be very sluggish. And there's nothing the matter with it. It's just because we're generating these numbers. So what you want to do is make sure when you're finished with this that you go back and comment out that trace like that. Now that won't happen.
CBS movie. We're not generating numbers, so I'm not going to get sluggish. Even though the ball is still going down, still going, still going, I am not dragging my machine down. Okay? I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.